how are you? Are you good? Are you Gucci? Are you down? If you are good. And if you're not, bless up. We gonna get through it together. It's tough out here. The second thing that I said was feeling good, how to feel good. And that is such a vague thing, I know for sure. But I'll just give you one, one way that I make sure that I am feeling good. Journal like, journal like. I've been journaling since my freshman year of high school. So that is, what was that, 2017? So that's three, seven years, damn. I've been journaling for seven years and I easily have over 10 notebooks that are filled up just accounting for my thoughts and events of my life almost every single day from the time I was uh, 16 years old. Oh, no, 15 years old. What do you think? It is. It's me and you. <laughs> oh, oh, Jesus. You don't have that stare at you. Okay. I got to look at that while I'm sleeping. <laughs> Listen. What's oh. up in dry <gasps> Hey, everybody. This is an A and B conversation. See your way out of it. You see what he does? You stole that from me. Copyright no, I... issues, ho. You gotta be having the craziest time in your life and never check in with yourself. <clears throat> Today, I have felt anxiety like I haven't felt in years. And that's because I think this morning I put a lot of pressure on myself to be okay but the reality is I'm still hurt. And I think those two things really <laughs> went against the grain and just knocked me off my rocker today. I've been doing a lot of thinking. I said from the beginning that love and forgiveness is the only way I'm gonna completely feel okay again. And one second, my mom said hurt people hurt people. And at the end of the day, how can I be a friend to Ben? How can I be a friend to myself, to my other friends? If I'm putting all of my mental energy on figuring out somebody else's hurt, I gotta take care of my own and I gotta do the work to build her up again. Healing diaries or whatever. Or you could have the most boring era of your life where nothing is happening, you feel like you don't have any friends, you feel like there's no functions to go to, it's just bleh, it's cloudy outside, like you laying in your bed like, damn, what, like where am I at right now? And you could still never check in with yourself or how you feel. For me, journaling is a way to do that. No matter what place in life I'm in, I can go into that journal and say exactly what's on my mind, unfiltered, where nobody's gonna judge me. And it also has taught me not to judge myself for the thoughts that I was having. If you never sit down, sit with those feelings and let them bubble up and come up, they're not gonna benefit you at all. They're not gonna teach you anything. But for me, with journaling, these are just literally just a few the notebooks that I have. The rest of them are literally at my mom's house. But through journaling for me, I get to check in with myself and I get to let those feelings come up and they have a place to go. If I'm having a lot of anxiety, it doesn't have to just be me. This is its home. So this, this way, it doesn't consume me. I'm having anxiety, okay, you belong in here. I can't address you just by living up here and doing nothing, but I can address you here. I can address you looking at you physically looking at you written down on a piece of paper because then it becomes a plan. Once you understand the emergency, then you can create a plan to get back to peace. That's how I see journaling. And that's, and plus it's just fine. You could talk the most ridiculous shit in here and nobody ain't ever gonna see it. And then you can go back right around in the journal and be like, oh, that was kind of mean. I'm not gonna think that way anymore. It is an unadulterated 
way of processing every single emotion so you can understand it and become a better person. And literally, just like I said in the video, my current journal is this one. I, it, I was gifted it by a friend. That's how much I love journaling. And it literally says my thoughts exactly. This is a cute thumbnail, actually. Okay, enough. I like doing this thing in my notebook where if I don't understand an emotion that I'm having or if I don't understand an insecurity that may be like triggered in me or flaring up in me because of something somebody said or um, a look I got or maybe it was my move for that day. If I don't understand what's going on in here, what I like to do is go into my journal and I split my name in half. So I write Tay and then Lore and Tay I basically write dialogue as if Tay and Lore are different voices talking to each other about the feeling that I'm having. It just serves as a way to basically start that dialogue with yourself. And in turn, it'll help your self-talk to become more positive, more graceful, and more forgiving towards yourself too. So, journal hoes. <laughs> take a sip of my tea I still I've already filmed one of these and I didn't even finish it thank you so much see you next time good night I hope that you go on your way in love in light and I hope that you're treating yourself right and that you're talking to yourself with kindness understanding that in this life you're only living to grow and you will never be perfect but that imperfectness is the perfect way all right good night it is midnight y'all